Hey guys, so we are here at the Philly Flower Show and I promised Chris and Franco to come and see their exhibit and we're going to see what else is in store. This is for their members only and press, so we're here the day before it actually officially opens. So we're just gonna check it out. This year's theme at the Philly Flower Show was Garden Electric, and many of the exhibitors vamped it up. From Franco and Chris's Disco in the Jungle, to a full floral sensory experience within a large paper mache brain. Let's see some Fothergilla. This is actually a native plant, bottle brush plant. It's one of the ones that uh, decided to grow at Flock. Very pretty. Should expect some spring blooms see some of the landscaping in here, homescaping. It's almost looks like a mugo pine and some uh, small rhododendrons. A lot of the rhododendrons, it's really hard to find the species nowadays. You just uh, look for ones that are about three to four feet wide and tall. See, this is crawling with folks. Just want to give you a pan of the people coming in on uh, early press day. So if it's this busy now, then it'll be busy when it's opened strictly to the public. So we have this one, not open to the public, but you can see it looks like a fringe tree right here. And some of the uh, other rhododendrons that we have here, beautiful color. This might actually be a species of rhododendron. Rhododendron PJM, this is something that we have growing outside a flock, and they do get quite large. I would say up to six feet tall and about four to five feet wide. Some beautiful birch right here. Can't go wrong with that. Really nice backyard tree. Dappled shade. Beautiful interest in the winter with their stems. Okay, here it is. I promised I would come back for Franco and Chris. And this is the outside. There's a bit of a line, so I'm not going to be a bully and push through. Looks like they have a nice little setup in here. Very nice and intimate, just like their shop. How's it going? Check it out. Well, you, know. you guys look spunky. No. Just trying not to look better than the plants. Right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> thrifted this. Yeah. Did you thrift it? Yeah. Did you thrift it here? In New York. Oh yeah. my god. That would have been a good Philly story. I know, right? <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Good work, guys. Wow. Yeah, I know you contributed quite a bit. <laughs>
After a barrage of full-fledged color and scents throughout the copious exhibits, I made my way over to the Horta Court. I really appreciate this display. This is basically showing what your front door could look like. <laughs> it's like choose your door that you like the best with the wreaths and the displays and the pots. That's quite clever. Look at that. Nice tropical displays. It would be amazing if you could actually open the doors and you could see what's in it, like a little room, what's behind door number one, two, three, four. I was pleasantly surprised to see a few specimens from Longwood Gardens, which you probably recognized as well from our tour that we did just a few weeks back. So these are some of Longwood's actual plants, and it's just so funny to see them because what do you know, we actually saw them in situ on Plant Monami. Carl was nice enough to show us around, and now you can see them here. Wood cycad, the uh, Encephalardus woodii, one of the loneliest plants around because they only have males. And of course, Horticourt is a lovely display of people's personal plants in friendly competition with one another. <laughs> dug the antique garden tool and memorabilia display. I don't know if there's such a thing as a gardening museum, but there really should be. I didn't really capture much of the shopping exhibit, but if you made it to the show, you should definitely peruse through the space. There were awesome plant exhibitors, and I walked away with some handmade charred wood cherry spoons by a lovely man named Jonathan. Hope you enjoyed the quick tour, and I'll see you in the next episode. 